Well, Mr. Beast, how did the start of your career look? In the very beginning, how did you start it all out? Basically what I did was I somehow found these other like four lunatics. Three of us were college dropouts. One was a high school dropout and one, I don't know, he just like quit his job. We were all super small YouTubers and we basically talked every day for a thousand days in a row and did nothing but just like hyper study, like what makes a good video, what makes a good thumbnail, what what's good pacing, like how to go viral. We would just get on Skype every morning and like some days like I'd get on Skype at 7 a.m. and I'd be in the call until like 10 p.m. and then I'd go to bed and I'd wake up and I'd do it again. We'd do things like take a thousand thumbnails and see if like there's a correlation to the brightness of the thumbnail to how many views it got. All right, well, on your point of view, on your amount of success, uh, what do you think the most efficient way to start off a YouTube channel right now would be? Imagine in a world where it's just you working solo and you work 12 hours a day every day for like a year and you're just grinding you make a mistake you learn from it you grind you make make you learn from it and you do that for like a year and then imagine a different world where you have four friends who are also equally grinding in something similar friend number one makes a mistake on friday he teaches the other four people friend number two makes a mistake the next week teaches mm -hmm. everyone and then like you're all learning from each other's mistakes you're all constantly studying 24 7 and downloading each other like after a year you're like two years ahead of the guy who was just so well do you think it's worth it to go that extra mile for the thumbnail you know to what people see when they first try to click on your video of course everyone should if people don't <coughs> click they don't watch so you you want to give them something to click something a lot of people forget is like unsuggested on phones thumbnails are really fucking small mm. so like people are editing thumbnails full blown on mm. their computer and when you shrink it down you can't see we try to all around be above the rest. Anyone can click bait, but it, you, do you actually like deliver on it? We say we put 100 million Orbeez in the backyard, we put 100 million Orbeez in the backyard. Your title and thumbnail set expectations. Like what you're saying is like, I like bananas. And what you need is bananas are the best goddamn food on the planet. Like that's the type of opinion you need. Like you need something like how to get 100 million views on YouTube or not even that, that's not strong enough. You need something that makes people go, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck did he say in that video? What the fuck? I need to know. All right, so how do I keep viewers watching the video and then clicking on other videos? Like, is there a way to do that? And is there an easy way to do that? To me, what's important is click through rate, getting people to click on your video, and then average view duration, average view percentage, or just relative retention, and you know, having them watch it. A lot of creators think click through rate is just like the title and thumbnail and, and did they click it, but a lot of it too is did they enjoy your last video? Because if someone watches a video of yours and they loved it, you can bet the next time you're recommended, their chance of clicking is a lot higher. The last question, what is your secret? What is the secret to long-term growth? Not short-term, but long-term. I mean years, maybe even decades. What is your secret? A lot of people aren't willing to put in 10 hours days because they don't like what they're doing. So it's finding what they enjoy because it is like a long grind. Like you're doing this for years, not months. So if you don't enjoy it, then you're gonna burn out. I just had the blessing of finding what I loved at a young age. So like, cause to get to this level, it takes, you know, a decade. Most people don't find what they love till their young 20s. So they'd be where I'm at in their 30s. Yeah. I just lucked out and found it when I was really young. Living your life chasing like a nicer, nicer car and a bigger and bigger box to live in is kind of like a dumb way to, to go about life. I actually, funny enough, I lived in like a super- All right guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. No idea what this video was. It was all made for my own thing because I really I wanted to do this so I want to see what it looked like but if you guys did enjoy make sure to hit that like button subscribe you know subscribe if you're new if you can I don't I, I, if you want I mean it's all up to you and let me know if you like this video and comment down below if y'all want me to do this with any other creator peace out guys